Hi everyone, it's Global Scholarships and I'm your host. As I hope you're all doing well, I hope everything is going great. And today we'll see the application procedure of Beijing Institute of Technology. Why am I doing this right now? Because not only the applications are open right now in this university, but also this university has a really good full funding scholarship, uh, which covers your tuition, which is already not that high. It covers your accommodation, they give you a dorm, and then it gives you about a 2,500 Chinese one monthly stipend, which by the university's estimation should be enough to cover your entire living expenses. So it, it pretty much covers everything. Uh, and it also is open for application right now if you apply to this university. So let's get to it. Um, by the way, we are doing this for Beijing Institute of Technology, but if you want to get information about any university, any institution at all, what you can do is just go to Google and Google the university's name, globalscholarships.com like this. And then let's hit enter. And as you can see, we have we have an entire page for this university. We have information here in Beijing about like population, number of scholarships. Usually Chinese universities do not have many scholarships, but their scholarships are very, very uh, generous and comprehensive. We can click here to go and see that scholarship, which is this one. As you can see, this is for bachelors, by the way. And you can just scroll down and click on this to see like what it covers, what it does, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm gonna share the link for this university's page uh, in the description and in the pinned comment. And we have our uh, tuition fee here, about 20 to 30,000 won, which is, which is about three to four thousand uh, dollars. And this scholarship also covers that too, of course. And yeah, if you have any questions, you can just leave them here. Yan Li answers every single question. To start our application, uh, we'll just click here in international students admission page. Here we can click any uh, subject that we're interested in. Let's com say computer science and technology, which is a rising uh, subject matter in China. And you can translate this. Um, for example, right now, Edge is asking me translate. Let's say, okay, sure, translate. So we can read this or you can click on apply online. Good. Now we are in their portal. Basically, we click on register here to create our account so we can apply to this university. And then here, I hereby affirm that blah, blah, blah. Like during my study in China, I shall observe the rules and regulations of the university. Uh, you can read all of this and let's click on accept. Now we need to give them our username, our password, our, uh, our email and uh, verify that code. Uh, I'll just give them a fake email, like a temporary email for this application because in the end, I won't submit the um, application anyway. So let's do that. Okay, you can now click on register. Please check your email to activate the account. I'm going to do that right now. All right. So I clicked on the link that they've sent me through email. Uh, it directed me to this page, application notes. Again, pretty much the same during my study in China, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I have read and agree to the regulations, which is really important for Chinese government. Here I'm going to choose undergraduate programs. And these are the undergraduate programs that I can apply to. I'll just choose computer science. Here it is. Undergraduate School of Technology. Computer science and technology, computer science and technology, and this is the duration, uh, years, it's four years, it's in Chinese, and the application deadline, as you can see, is July 15. Hang on, it's June 15. Anyway, so you can click here to get more information, or you can click here to apply. Okay, now personal information. As you can see, we'll, we'll give them a lot of personal information, and then there are other steps as well, uh, basic info, study plan, education and employment, additional info, contact info, upload application documents, preview and submit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them some fake information here because in the end, again, I'm not going to send them this application anyway, uh, which is like because I wouldn't want to do that. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to give them some made up information here. Okay, first we add our photo. Uh, there's like a lot of criteria here. So I'm going to choose something that fits that. Good. This, uh, this is a fake photograph. Photograph, don't worry, this is not a real person. This is just a, like a randomly generated photo. And then I'm, I'll give them the rest of the information. Okay, so we gave them our information, our family name, name, birth date, uh, marital status, nationality, native language, religion, not sure why that's relevant, final education institution, um, occupation, blah, 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 health status, uh, are you ethnic Chinese, current location, immigration information, applicants who were born in Chinese mainland or Hong Kong, Macau, and Taiwan, and once held, the Chinese citizenship should choose yes. So I chose no. Applicants' father and mother's nationalities. 
and then passport. So everything is fine. I'm going to click save and next. And now we have a study plan, which is our here's our program. So we're going to give them language proficiency and recommender. OK, so I gave them some gave them some random information about about language proficiency. Of, of course, as you can see, these are uh, the mandatory ones with the red like asterisk next to them because I'm applying to a Chinese program. So I think if you're applying to an English program, this ones will be uh, mandatory than recommender. They ask a lot of questions, not sure why. I'll just give them some information and let's say save it next. And now we have education and employment. We have educational background and we have employment background. So let's give them some information. Okay, I have gave them some made up educational background information. Um, they have like junior and senior high, which is something that doesn't really exist in my country. So I try to give them something like that, like six years elementary here. And then we have like uh, here uh, junior high and then we have uh, senior high. So yeah, these are of course all made up. Uh, and then employment background, you can say, do you have any work experience? I said, no, you can say yes and give them the information. Uh, pretty much the same with have you ever worked in China? I said, no. And so let's save and next. Okay, now our additional info, family, applicants entry and exit records in the past four years, uh, criminal record, uh, financial supporter and guarantor in China. So let's give them that. Okay, so I gave them some information, family, uh, let's say father and mother, we can add more people here. Nationality, phone number, position, workplace, email, blah, blah, blah. During the four year period from April 30, 2021 to April 30, 2025, has the applicant had any record of entering or staying in the Chinese mainland? I said no. Criminal record, have you ever had a criminal record? No. Financial supporter, I'll just I just put the same information uh, with father. Uh, guarantor should be an adult willing to sponsor you to complete your studies. Uh, may you live uh, in our side China. Generally should be parent. Yeah, I just picked one of the parents and gave them, gave them the information. They also ask for address, address in this one. And then guarantor in China, uh, pretty much the same. And let's click on save and next. Okay, there are no issues there. Uh, step five, contact info, permanent address, current postal address. Uh, you can just choose here, same as permanent address. And then I'll just give them some address here. Okay, some address, uh, how to collect admission notice, delivered addre address provided in application, collect from Beijing. You can choose here, give the information here, which could be pretty much the same with this one. I'll just choose collect from Beijing Institute of Technology in person. Please make sure the postal address you provided is valid in at least three months in order to receive all the admission documents successfully. If it is an international adre address, please fill in the English address and postal code. Otherwise, it will affect the accurate postal delivery. So let's click save and next. All right, no issues there either. So step six, upload application documents. We need passport. Uh, these can be JPEG, PDF, passport, certified or notarized copy of highest degrees diploma, uh, certificate of schooling, uh, certified notarized copy of academic transcript, proof of language proficiency, a statement of purpose and or study plan. So these are the mandatory ones. Others you can add like financial guarantee letter, non-criminal record, other documents, additional attachments uh, of the applicants under 18 years old, a copy of applicant's birth certificate, documents showing the nationality of the applicant's parents at the, at the time of applicant's birth, certificates of foreign permanent address, residence of the applicant's parents at the time. And so I'm gonna just um, upload, by the way, each attachment can, with the capacity no more than two megabytes. I'll just upload the mandatory ones. If you have any other uh, that you wanna upload, you can just, yeah, physical examination. So for these ones, you can also get the information here. These are forms. Okay, we uploaded the first four. And for this one, please download the template and personal statement from this link and upload it in the attachment after filling it out. So let's take a look at that. And it looks something a bit like this, BIT International Student Personal Statement. Your personal statement is an important part of your application by giving us your education background and academic interests, etc. It will help us know you better. Your personal statement should be no less than 1000 words in length and should be written in the language of instruction you're to apply. Like if you apply for Chinese, which is what we're doing here, um, 
you're gonna write it in Chinese. Nationality, educational background, name. Uh, they gave you like a like an example here as well. Introduce yourself, personality, family, hobby, etc. Uh, why would you choose to study in China? I think why did you choose to study in China? Uh, why would you or did you choose BIT and the major if you're applying for a master's or PhD? Degree program, your research interests and background are what we mainly review. Please introduce your academic achievements, papers, pa patents, awards, etc. Please introduce the social activities, internships, and voluntary work you have experienced. And then others. So this is Chinese for others. Right. That is pretty much it for this one. So back to our application. I'll just upload it the way it is. Oh, no, you have to, you have to convert it to PDF. Okay, we converted it to PDF. So let's add it here. And then click on save and next. Additional attachments of the applicant under. Oh, so, okay. All right, I'll just add one random document here too. It has to be JPEG. Okay, so it insisted that I upload another document, which has to be JPEG. Uh, so I've uploaded this one, of course. Uh, th like these are the documents you need to attach here. So I'm going to click on save and next. And so, yeah, this is preview and submit filled in application. No, there is no application. No, because I didn't submit. So we have personal information, current location, immigration information, passport, study plan, uh, language proficiency, recommender, educational background, employment background, family, applicants entry and ex ex exit records, criminal record, financial supporter, guarantor in China, Permanent address, current postal address, uh, how to collect the admission notice and upload the documents. And yeah, by clicking here sub to the submit button, uh, we can just send them our uh, application, which is something I will not do here because I do not want to send them a fake information. So, so that's pretty much it for this video. This is the general application procedure for this university. I hope you found this informative. If you did, please be sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more educational content. Also, at every Friday, we do live streams on YouTube. Eamon is there with me. Uh, you can come and ask any questions that you might have about applying to universities abroad or in general scholarships, etc., etc. Also, we now do have memberships. Uh, you can become a member to get some different perks like uh, comment priorities, uh, to be able to um, vote in polls for future content. Maybe there is a university that you want to have like an application tutorial for or something like that. And of course, uh, we do have a Discord server again. And if you want to join our Discord server for more direct support for your applications, you can become a member on our YouTube channel. And other than that, that's pretty much it. See you in the next one and bye.